everyone's will answer. Today I'm in a really, really cool spot. We're doing another food truck food challenge outside El Fogon, Fogon de Munchies Boricua, which is a Puerto Rican food. Yes, guys, we're back. This is my second Puerto Rican food challenge ever, and technically the only second time I've ever had Puerto Rican food, but I gotta say, first time was great, and I'm so excited for this today. Why, guys, we're having Puerto Rican seafood. I love seafood. Seafood challenges are the best. So what is this challenge consisting of? Well, it is consisting of fried fish, in like, literally they have the whole fish in there, and then I think there's other fried fish. We got shrimp and grilled and deep fried. We got what looks like a ceviche. Um, we got, I think there's some other items. I'm probably forgetting it. I know I have to pick a side, which I know there's a couple options with. I'm gonna give you the exact details here momentarily, but we are at World Food Trucks in Orlando. So this is a literal grouping of food trucks. Like just look all around, there's a whole bunch of them here. And uh, this is actually apparently one of the most popular food trucks here. They had this food truck, I guess, for like 17 years or something, which is nuts. One of the first, apparently, in Orlando, or at least in the area. So, uh, yeah, guys, I'll get the exact details. Uh, for the challenge, we do have 30 minutes to complete it, and it, the name is called... Uh, I'm going to hold on, guys. My, my Spanish is bad. Monstro del Mar? Like, sea, mon sea monster? Monster of the sea? Yeah, I think that makes Monstro del Mar. Monstro of Sea, yeah. There you go, I think that's it. But anyway, 30 minutes to complete the uh, challenge. Um, the price tag, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, is about $120, I think that is it. Um, it features uh, some really cool items. Oh, now I remember, I have the menu here. It's like, and I'm seeing pictures. So it's sparking my memory. There's actually conch and octopus in this as well. So conch, you're not familiar, it's kind of like a big snail. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna get the exact details here momentarily, but uh, let's order some food. It sounds fun. Super excited to do this challenge. Puerto Rican food sounds really good. So with that, let's eat. All right, everybody, so here we are with the challenge, guys. This is massive, I gotta say. It really, Monstro del Mar, the sea monster, it is rightfully named that, that's for sure. So in front of me here, I have a whole bunch of fried fish, a whole bunch of fried shrimp. This is, they said about a pound and a half, two pounds each. We have the two sh grilled shrimp skewers made in that really kind of traditional Puerto Rican um, kind of butter they do with lots of garlic. They have all these other lovely spices and sauces in there. I have a whole freaking red snapper up here, which is awesome. Um, I really like that. I think that's super cool that it's a whole fried fish. Um, and then I have two of their crab empanadas, which if you're not familiar is like a fried, uh, how do you put it? I don't know, like a pizza pocket kind of thing in a way, but crab, super delicious. I love seafood, guys. I did the side, so I went with the uh, tostones, which are basically uh, fried plantains, uh, like fried plantains, mashed, refried, so they're super crispy. Uh, I could also went with like rice or whatever. And then I have a, uh, in a plantain bowl, an actual edible bowl, which yes, I have to eat the bowl. I think it's the first time I've ever had to eat a bowl, but for good reason. Um, we have this lovely, basically like ceviche. Uh, it is a cook, but we have the popo and the conch. Guys, this is super hard to come by nowadays. This is like almost like a Puerto Rican delicacy, the conch. Very common, very well known. And I am actually super excited to try it out. It is marinated in a whole bunch of spices, garlic, oils. So yeah, I am pumped to say the least. I do have me some ketchup. Ketchup is okay in Puerto Rico, apparently it's well loved. I have some of their pink sauce as well, which is basically a ketchup mayo mix. And they also have, I have some delicious hot sauce. You know, I love me some fried fish, some fried everything and hot sauce. And I'm just not gonna lie. There's times where like, I always am excited for the challenges and there's, I'm all, I usually really enjoy them. But there is times like right now, I am so excited for this. So that's it. Let's get started here just momentarily. All right, so, and fun fact, this is actually only my second time having Puerto Rican food. Um, and let's just say it's not gonna be the last after, you know, these, well, <laughs> my last one was, experience was great. I'm sure this experience is gonna be probably even greater. I'm just so pumped. I'm so pumped. Anyway, I'm gonna stop uh, stalling, complaining. So how about we get started, guys? And you guys can count with me if you want. You don't have to be quiet. So maybe we'll say the count of uh, maybe like five, four, three, two, one. Let us eat. I'm gonna start with some tomatoes. Always eat your healthy veggies, good. And then I'm gonna dig in this fried fish. Look at this. A whole freaking snapper. And look how nice and meaty that is. Woo wee! 
Oh, guys, and it's still steam and it's still hot. Amen. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Beautifully fried, nice and juicy. Mm. I'm going to try not to eat any bones. Mm. Beautiful seasoning on that. Perfect amount of salt. I know guys, sometimes I think cooking like bone-in meats just adds so much more flavor. Let me know down below if you're a bone-in or boneless person. Delicious fish. Hey everyone, welcome to Zero's Today. We're here in Kissimmee, Florida, basically Orlando area, taking on this massive seafood challenge. So the sea monster challenge here at El Fugon. Guys, this looked amazing. I was super excited to get into that red snapper. We had the swai, which was the breaded fried fish. Then of course we had the shrimp, the conch. I was just excited to get into all of this because it all looked and smelled so, so, so delicious. Crispy and delicious. I don't think there's anything more on that head really to eat, but fish head. Oh man, but here is a nice piece of meat. Woo, we got succulent. Oh man. Got it. Florida seafood. What yeah. And the nice thing about food trucks here, they can operate year round. So it is the dead of winter. And I mean outside in a t-shirt and shorts. That doesn't happen in the north. <laughs> Run to the vacation down here in Orlando. So I came to find that Florida has a lot of individuals from Puerto Rico and a lot of Puerto Rican influence. And my first time actually having Puerto Rican food was in Florida. And this is my second time. And I gotta say, the first time I had it, I really loved it. But I never had any Puerto Rican seafood. So having the opportunity to have kind of a more Puerto Rican seafood, which was like, it just makes sense. Puerto Rico is an island. I think this was just the perfect opportunity and one I was super, super excited about. What else what was so cool is just the like diversity of different seafoods we had. So we had like fried seafood, like battered fried. Then we had more just like straight up fried fish being the snapper. Honestly, I would eat a whole other fish like this. This is, woo! This is my style of fish. Then we had um, kind of more like, again, like ceviche type being the conch and the octopus, although both were um, cooked, so they weren't like raw ceviches, but more, you know, kind of like a seafood salad ceviche kind of thing. Um, for the side, I did go with the uh, tostonas, as I said. These are actually um, what I had before, so I was very familiar with them. They're uh, pretty cool. It's kind of like a, mm, I don't want to say like a potato chip, but it's kind of like a plantain potato chip hash brown thingy thing. Nonetheless, a fr double fried smash plantain, um, which they're really, really good. Where this is actually located is called World Food Trucks, which is really cool. That's the nice thing about like Florida being warm year round is food trucks can operate year round. I'm being from a Northern climate. I am very familiar with food trucks being a seasonal thing. All right, well, I haven't tried anything else yet, but I'm already like, this is a keeper. 10 out of 10 would recommend. All right. All right. And really, there is nothing else left of that fish besides bone. So the fact that you can go, you know, to this place and access, I don't know, let's say it was 20, 30, 40 different food trucks, super, super cool. Um, but at that, that's pretty much the majority of the information. So at that, let's tune on in, see what we can do, and hopefully complete this giant, absolutely massive Puerto Rican seafood challenge. Try everything else. Then we're, I think, maybe like 5, 20 in. Um, I'll try them. some grilled shrimp, might as well, some shrimp skewers. Mm. Hello. Really nice flavor on that. Puerto Rican food has a lot of garlic in it. 
And I love that. Garlicky, buttery, good shrimp. I don't know, guys. None of you prefer shrimp or crab down below. Or shrimp or fish, what am I saying? Both so far have been awesome. So that was the lighter stuff. That was definitely the heavier items here. Man, that was freaking good though. Let's try this uh, fried yeah. shrimp. That was a nice fried shrimp. Oh yeah. Mm. Great breading. Great batter. And the seasonings in that. Woo! All right, I'm not gonna lie. Wow. These are delicious. I really like this. And I'm usually not the biggest shrimp person, but this is, Maria, my BM. You like it? So good. Very good, thank you. <laughs> Enjoy. Oh, so good. And shout out the staff, they're super friendly. Cameron Frito. I'm trying some hot sauce, but honestly, it hasn't been needed so far. Oh! What the heck? All the shrimp are gone. That was so delicious. Now I have this fish. Now this is a fish I've actually never had before. It's supposed to be quite meaty. What is it called again? The fish? White fish. Swai. Swai fish. Oh, uh, hold on. Let me try it by itself first. I was in the uh, rhythm of the, uh, the shrimp. Wow. Mm. All right. Perfectly, like, super moist, super flaky, super meaty. Try not super meaty. But, like, perfectly meaty. It is just, like, great texture. And it's not a fishy tasting fish. It's a beautiful tasting fish. I usually love a ketchup hot sauce mix. I'll try it just for the sake of it. Mm. Oh my gosh. Wow. But not need it. Also tried in pink sauce. This is very popular in Puerto Rico. Honestly, it's, it tastes really good. The acidity is really nice. It is male based. I'm not a big male person, but I can really appreciate that. Great flavor. Actually, it's kind of growing on me a little bit. Not a lot. Let me know if you like a ketchup and mayo mix down below. Pretty good. Puerto Ricans have some great, great, great flavors. And great preferences. Man, 
end as it's up. I don't want that to end. Maybe I will have to try some more after this. I don't know. I mean, it's still <laughs> open, so. <laughs> Woo! Dang, that's good. All right. Ceviche, empanadas, and tostones. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna try the, uh, excuse my, compliments to the chef. Huge compliments. I'll try probably some of these, yeah, pulpo, the shrimp, and, or sorry, the uh, octopus and the conch. Never had conch before, but it looks great. Definitely marinated with some garlic, onions, some peppers. This is, like, give it a shot. I mean, a Puerto Rican delicacy. Mm. Really get that garlic. You call it a mojo? You get that mojo flavor. Thank you. Which is kind of the uh, spice blend they use, which I really like. I've really come to like the mojo. It's a great flavor. Mm. Let's try the uh, octopus. Good taste in octopus. Octopus is better with sweeter meat. Slightly more texture. But great marinade. It doesn't taste oily or anything. It's very, very, like, light, fresh tasting. Just like you'd expect. I'm probably bring that up a little bit. That is very good. And like I said, definitely very um, kind of like light. Lighter on the palate, not as like a heavy rich food as some of the fried items. Try the conch in comparison. Mm. No, I really do like the conch. It's not like Super strong flavor, but it's just lovely. Very, very, very light seafood flavor. Really meaty. I like it. I really recommend I put some lime on it. Citrus and ceviche and seafood goes really well. Nice addition. And then I have and then I eat the eat the bowl. That's gonna be interesting. And um I think we're 1645. Thank you. We're gonna say 16 something. Alright, this is delicious. Should probably skip just a little bit. Make sure we get done that 30 minutes, but it tastes great. So, let's do it. Let's try the empanadas, guys. Filled with crab. Never had a crab empanada before. This is a good size. It's about the size of my head. I got a pretty big head, so I'm saying something. <clears throat> Excuse me, comments from the chef. It's muy bien. Me gusta. <laughs> really, really good. All right, let's try the uh, crab. Looks like on the inside. Mm. Nice and warm. I really get the, um, some of that really signature, 
kind of similar moho tasting. Fried plantain bowl, which shout out the innovation, that's super, super cool. And the tostones, fried plantains. Plantains are very, very common and very, very popular in the Puerto Rican culture. And they're not like, at least these ones, I don't like a sweet plantain. They use them a lot, kind of like a lot of people use uh, potatoes. So, um, let's try the uh, tostones. Nice and crispy. I like the texture, it's a dense texture because they fry them and smash them. <laughs> Excuse me, comment to the chef. Last but not least, a fried plantain bowl. Pretty cool, oh yeah. Mm. Tastes like the uh, ceviche, like the octopus, the uh, conch. I like it. The flavors definitely went into it. That was a good bite. Really crispy and crunchy. Almost much like a potato chip. Mm. Woo! What do we have? Whose idea was it to fry the bowl like that? <laughs> My husband. He's a smart man. That was very good too. Woo. All right, well. I'd say we're finished. Finished? <laughs> finished. Woo. Woo. All right, everybody. Just wow. Where do I start? Honestly, I'm just gonna like, I'm in pure bliss. My mouth, my flavors, my taste buds, whatever is going on in my mouth. <laughs> Don't take that weird way. It is amazing. I, I honestly, honestly, that was just wow. Like, I don't even know what to say. Um, besides just like, wow. I gotta collect myself. Thoughts, come back, come back. Okay, okay. Wow. <laughs> Guys, the flavors of that. From Something I thought was going to be so basic and simple, like the fried shrimp, to something I didn't know what to expect with the fried plantain bowl, to like this lovely red snapper, to the ceviche slash the conch slash the octopus. Just wow. Like, like I don't even get it. Like, again, like I, I thought it was just going to be like, I, it looked good, but expectations far exceeded this was just wow I, I have really like just wow I honestly met a loss of words I will definitely be coming back this is now a must stop every time I'm in Orlando if you want to open one up elsewhere just feel free you know let me know say hey Joel by the way but wow I mean I, uh, they're uh, it's Puerto Rican they're very well known for their monfongo which is like fried mashed plantains with that mojo garlic butter and all that stuff in there, which I've tried before was good. I know they have their um, kind of special rice here as well. They're also very popular, but just, wow. I did not, I've definitely never had better seafood out of a food truck. 
And I just did not expect that to be like as mind blowing as it was. Honestly, El Fogon de Munchies Burqua Bariqua. Wow, world food trucks. Totally recommend stopping on by. All right, woo, I've come back enough. I think I can at least think. But seriously, that was just amazing. I can have clean hands because of the gloves. I think my favorite overall, I don't, maybe the, like the reds, maybe the snapper, but the fish, I, I'm, you know, I'm, I am not picking a favorite today. I think it's probably the first time I'm not picking a favorite. Everything was fantastic. I totally need to try something else. You said they got blood sausage? Is it good? Yeah. All right, you better get me, start me a little bit up then. I'll try it real quick. Guys, if they say it's good, they said this is gonna be good, it is damn good. I'm just, I'm still amazing. So I'm gonna try a couple bites here, guys. Totally recommend, but that we do get meal fruit, which is pretty awesome. Just wow. Of course, I don't recommend ever eating a platter this big by yourself. You don't need to. No one needs to eat as much food. I do, so you don't have to. There's my disclaimer out of the way. But totally recommend coming on by, trying some of this seafood. Absolutely delicious, and uh, I have no complaints. So with that, everybody, huge thanks to staff here. Huge thanks to everybody who came on by. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate you. Woo. Dinner and a show, dinner and a show. <laughs> and I did that, everybody. Say happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating. I am definitely happy right now, I'll tell you that much. And until uh, next time, I guess I'm getting something else, so I'll show you that. But So I won't say have a lovely day at this point, but I'll be back momentarily. <laughs> what, what is this? Bacalaito. Bacalaito. Yeah. This is huge. It is, a, it is a fried, what is it? Bacalao is, um, bacalao is a... No, it's not mine. It's uh, very annoying. Fried something. Okay. It's a fried fish, apparently. Okay. Is there yeah, some fish? Yeah, we do with the batter, like okay. the same batter that yeah. you do, like the empanadillas. Yeah. You do the batter and you put in the bacalao, which is like shredded fish, and then you turn it into that big. So this is shredded fish. Yes. Wow, that's it. Yeah, that is amazing. Yes. All right, Whatever guys. What kind of fish? Beautiful. So uh, we also have their. So this is a Puerto Rican blood sausage. They said they really wanted me to try. So there's rice in here. Blood, seasonings, so it's kind of like black pudding. Then I have, what is this called again? It's cod, that one's cod. No. And cod? that's guajito. Guajito? Guajito. Guajito, so this is like bush, like pork stomach, with uh, <laughs> garlic and, what was the other stuff put in there? Sofrito. Sofrito, well, that's, that's a very, very, that's, that's like the flavor. <laughs> and then I'll try this blood sausage first, to see what it's all about. You know what? It's good. I like how they gave me hot sauce. Ooh. There's some spice to this. Oh, caliente. Muy caliente. Not caliente, picante. And caliente. Yeah, well, yeah, it's it's, it's hot. Oh, falling apart. Guys, it's actually a really nice flavor. Doesn't need the hot sauce. Great rice flavor. It does remind me of black pudding from the United Kingdom. This is what it is, but black pudding is oatmeal. This is rice. The rice gives a good flavor. Actually, it's good. I'll try it in the pink sauce just because it's here. I'm not gonna lie. This pink sauce is growing on me. Mm. Blood sausage. I like it. Now, I'm gonna try this. This is pig stomach. So, let me know down below if you try pig stomach. It looks very, very moist, very, very rich. It has a very strong porky flavor, like scent to it. I'll give it a shot though. But shout out this blood pudding. That's really good. <laughs> Let's give it a try, guys. It's actually good. So, definitely a really nice porky taste to it. There's a little bit of a more irony tasting meat right now at the moment. My camera looks weird. Something on my lunch. Actually, it's good. 
it's, it's nice and rich. The flavors are fantastic. As I started saying, it's a little more of like an irony tasting. I'm not a big irony gamey tasting meat, but person butt. That was a nice fatty bit. It's actually really good. It's, it's definitely like, I wasn't sure what to expect. Definitely based on the smell, but. This is very good. I'm impressed. Good fat content though, but. Normally this would be served over rice or with some fogo or something, but. Be good. I like it a lot. I'll try some ketchup just for the hell of it. Not with the ketchup. And I like ketchup. All right. Now, what was this called again? Bacalaito. Which is codfish, which I never would have guessed. This looks kind of like a tortilla, but give it a shot. Okay. It tastes great. I'm so confused. <laughs> because it looks like a tortilla, or it looks like it'd be like fried dough, but it tastes like I'm eating deep fried battered fish. It's like a, it's mind boggling. Like my, 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 my head is trying to compute this. It's like, it tastes like fried fish. It doesn't look like fried fish. That's good. <laughs> Everything they do here. It's actually really good. I'm basically eating the challenge again in a different form. <laughs> so good. Anyway, I don't have to eat any more of this by any means, but I'm going to. This is awesome. But, like I said, everybody, don't do what I do. But now it's, I can officially say, it's not just the seafood that tastes good. It's everything. Really. I have no complaints. <coughs> Man, I keep inhaling water today. Don't do that. Uh, that'd be like I said, Saffir are fantastic. Very delicious. So until next time. <laughs> Have a over there. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And with that, thank you so much. You rock.